What's up, my beautiful freedom-loving friend? Today, Tulsi Gabbard announced she is officially leaving the Democratic Party. I think this is huge. I'll share some of my perspective on why I think this is very meaningful, why it's actually gonna make a powerful difference for the better in our country. We'll also have some other musings, but first, let's take a look at her announcement video that she just released this morning, October 11th. It's making waves all over the place. Let's take a look. I can no longer remain in today's Democratic Party that's under the complete control of an elitist cabal of warmongers who are driven by cowardly wokeness, who divide us by racializing every issue and stoking anti-white racism, who actively work to undermine our God-given freedoms that are enshrined in our Constitution, who are hostile to people of faith and spirituality, who demonize the police but protect criminals at the expense of law-abiding Americans, who believe in open borders, who weaponize the national security state to go after their political opponents, and above all, who are dragging us ever closer to nuclear war. So far, that's a pretty good list of reasons why she's leaving the Democratic Party. Now, I believe in a government that's of the people, by the people, and for the people. Unfortunately, today's Democratic Party does not. Instead, it stands for a government that is of, by, and for the powerful elite. Now, I'm calling on my fellow common sense, independent-minded Democrats to join me in leaving the Democratic Party. If you can no longer stomach the direction that the so-called woke Democratic Party ideologues are taking our country, and I invite you to join me. I think that's amazing. Very well said. I personally used to identify as a Democrat, and that's before spring of 2020. I didn't really know what it meant, but that's how I used to be, and I certainly changed my mind and now have solid reasons why. It's so like at this time, like I definitely say I'm a Republican between the two parties. Republican. I always think for myself. Along the past couple of years, people ask me like, well, JP, do you think all Democrats are bad? It's like, absolutely not. I think that tyrants are bad. And unfortunately, right now, they've chosen the Democratic Party to infiltrate and then puppet strings from there kind of thing. But along that way, I've always said, there's so many Democrats I respect. And I, I said, dude, in a heartbeat, I would even vote for a Democrat for president, specifically Tulsi Gabbard. I guess I there's probably not Democrats I would vote for president anymore because she is no longer a Democrat. So with that said, here's why I think it's so powerful why she's changed her mind about the Democratic Party. First off, ironically, I don't think she's changed anything. I think, unfortunately, the Democratic Party has very much changed. We all know great people who have called themselves Democrats, and they're not the evil tyrants. They're good people. But what they stand for isn't what those who control the Democratic Party are now doing. We, you know, we know how extreme and radical the left has gotten, so I think you got... Republicans, Democrats, and then kind of the middle. But these leftist elitists who have gotten into power and maybe control people in power, they've just gotten so far this way. And unfortunately, that's what colors the Democratic Party. When If you're voting Democrat, you're, you're voting for them. So I think Tulsi Gabbard, she's like always stood right here. Let me use my other hand. She's always stood right here. And then those in her party have just gotten way extreme. And she looks at them and is like, dude, like that's, that's not what I do. So I think this is very powerful because she's modeling this for a lot of people. Just recently on this channel, I posted an interview clip I did with Carrie Lake. She's a governor candidate for governor be redundant with my words, in Arizona. And I asked her in this video, what message would you like to share with people who have been lifelong Democrat voters, but now they've become disenfranchised with their party. They see the agendas, they see the destruction that they're causing, and they're worried that if they keep voting Democrat, no matter what, the situation will only get worse. But they've received propaganda 
that's all over the place that says, well, if you're a Republican, you're bad, you're racist, you're an extremist. So Carrie, like what message do you want to say to those people? And I asked her this because there's so many people who are Tulsi Gabbard. In this video, she is representing not just herself, but she's the voice of many people, many millions. I've read over a million registered Democrat voters have unregistered themselves and are now registered as Republicans in the past year. So she is undoubtedly the voice of millions of people. Now, some people have already taken action saying like, well, I can't keep voting for these people. It'll only get worse. But other people are scared. And I don't blame them for being scared. I think it's fine. It's it's normal human nature to be scared of change, ex especially when there's smear campaigns that are framing you. If you do change, you're a bad person. So I think her voice, being the voice of many, many, many people, is very powerful because it's a voice of permission. Now, if there's anybody who would face adversity changing their mind, it would be a former congresswoman, she ran for president and Hillary Clinton made sure to put a stop for that. So she solidified herself as a powerhouse in the Democratic Party. Obviously, the establishment wants no part of her because she's not controllable, controllable, but she's solidified her position. There's a lot of history she's built there to be in that position. And she says, I can't do this any longer. And if you're a normal person like you or I, we don't have that. It's actually as scary as it is way easier for us to change our mind. So the question might not be, has she, has she changed? It's more like, has the party around her changed? And I think a lot of people who have been Democratic voters, they look at what the conservative party currently stands for, which in a nutshell is freedom and the constitution. And they're like, well, damn, I don't agree with everything y'all say, but the most important stuff that's what you guys are standing for now. Maybe I can vote for you. And I want to say this. Right now, 2022, the majority of the tyrants are politically aligned left. And I look forward to the time in the coming years where the current problems are solved and then the tyrants infiltrate the right. I want y'all to be the first to know the right already has tyrants, but the majority of them are on the left. But I want you to know when that happens, when the majority of tyrants say like, dude, okay, hiding on the left, they found us. Now we got to find a more devious place to hide. We'll just go to the opposite direction. We'll go on the right. When that happens, I want you to know I'll be the first one to leave the conservative party. Right now, I love what they stand for. I don't agree with everything. I agree with a lot, but I love what they stand for. But this lesson from Tulsi Gabbard, I want to give myself permission. I'll, I'll be the first one to leave if and when the day comes when the tyrants are on the right. So I just want to read real quick and reemphasize what Tulsi said. I'm on her Instagram and her post. It's basically a transcription of this video. I can no longer remain in today's Democratic Party that is now under complete control of an elitist cabal. Her of warmongers driven by cowardly wokeness, check, who divide us by racializing every issue and stoke anti-white racism, check, actively work to undermine our God-given freedoms enshrined in our constitution, check, they're doing that, are hostile to people of faith and spirituality, check, they demonize the police and protect criminals at the expense of law-abiding Americans, check, they believe in open borders, check, they weaponize the national security state to go after political opponents, Joe Biden, check, and above all, are dragging us ever closer to nuclear war. And then she shares again what she stands for, what she believes the government should be, a government by the people, for the people. And then the last part, which it brings it all home in such a powerful way. I'm calling on my fellow common sense, independent minded Democrats, kind of means like free thinking, independent minded, you are in control of the sovereignty of your own self. You don't do the group think kind of thing. You're not so like uh, mass formationed, if you will. And calling on my fellow common sense, independent minded Democrats to join me in leaving the Democratic Party. If you can no longer stomach the direction that so-called woke Democratic Party ideologues are taking our country, I invite you to join me. That's the most powerful part. We don't need Tulsi Gabbard to leave a corrupt party. 
We need we the people to keep leaving a corrupt party. And Tulsi being a powerful voice for many of we the people and calling on us to rise up if we resonate with her perspectives to rise up and as Gandhi might say, be the change we wish to see in the world. This video of Tulsi Gabbard's is one of my favorite things I've seen in a long time. Because we all see problems, but we, what we need more than just seeing the problems is solutions to the problems. We know nothing changes unless something changes. And something's never going to change unless you and I are the change. So this is what she is inspiring in a lot of people. And because you love freedom, I appreciate you taking a little bit of time to watch this momentous video with me of Tulsi Gabbards. And Tulsi, I want you to know you are an inspiration. Stay free, my friends.